Howdy. Howdy. All right, rip eyes medium. Good morning, how are you guys doing today? So this is our last day in Fort Worth and we just left our hotel, Home to Sweet. It has free breakfast, spacious and comfortable room. So we had a nice day there. And instead of going home, uh, we decided that uh, we're gonna try to fit in one more activity for the kids and for myself as well. Fort Worth is famous for their stockyard. So basically every day at 11.30 and at 4 p.m. Uh, they have a cattle drive. When you go there and you get to see uh, cattle roam the street and then uh, you get to see cowboys and uh, you know, it'll take you back in, uh, in the old days. So that should be fun. And uh, So we're going to go there right now and then we're going to check out the place and hopefully we can find something to eat and uh, see some cattle. So anyways, if you guys are ready for some fun today, let's go. AKA Bumino. Fort Worth Livestock Exchange and parking is available for seven dollars a day. You can take a picture with the cat over here. And so my wife say this is kind of like the uh, Howdy, everybody. oh, Welcome you to Texas, Welcome to Fort Stockyards, National Historic District. We are so glad you are here on this gorgeous, beautiful Monday morning. Oh my goodness gracious, it's going to be nice today. What a perfect day for a cattle drive, perfect morning. Speaking of day, we'll do this again at 4 p.m. because we are home of the world's only last day of the cattle drive. We do this every day, 362 days a year. Here come the uh, cattle. I want to tell you about where you are. This is a special place. This is a National Historic District. We have 131 years of Western heritage here at the stockyards. And this is one of the largest stockyards in the world at one time when it was operational. Number one sheep market in the United States. Number one horse and mule market in the world. But before this was a stockyard, before this was even here, and this was pasture. And the trade river is less than a mile to our east. We've got a creek right over here. It always has water in it. This was the halfway stopping point on the largest migration of domesticated livestock in the history of the United States. Howdy. Howdy. And thank you once again for coming out. Have a wonderful rest of your afternoon. And over here you have the maze and you can see horses right there and there's also a petting zoo over there. And also for $40 you can ride the horses. Stockyard stable, petting zoo, $5 per person. Hello sir, you doing, good you sir? Better than I deserve, y'all want to go in the petting zoo? Uh, yes sir. Alright, it's $5 person, $3 for a cup of food you like. Uh, you want to get the thing? All four of y'all going in? Mm -hmm. Alright, y'all want any cups of food? Just one. Just, Just one? one? Uh -huh. All right, let me grab your change there. Seven dollars is change, sir. Thanks, sir. Here's that cup of feed whenever you're feeding. If you don't have palm your hand flat, hold that cup away because they will try and steal it. Whenever that cup's empty, it goes right in that basket. All right, thank you. Here we have the petting zoo. Whoa! <laughs> it looks cute. Look, you want to play with the baby goats? It's like a little doggy. Dang, they must be really hungry. <laughs> Alright, so basically this thing is kind of like an all year long uh, rodeo. So right here we have the shopping and dining area right here. Today is a Monday and it's pretty packed here. Just imagine it was like on the weekend. I see everybody coming out of the store with this Dr. Pepper made from pure king sugar. You wanna try it? Let's go, let's go and try. Alright, 
let's try this Dr. Pepper. You know, I don't get no rainbow. It's early in the morning and they want ice cream already. Hello, Hello. ma'am. Hi. How are you guys? Good, and you? Good. Two ice creams. It'll be six forty-five. Okay. Thank you. And we do have napkins over there. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me guess. Tastes like medicine. <laughs> <laughs> I guess with Dr. Pepper, it's either you like it or you don't like it. I like it. As for free sample. Look at all this beef jerky. Let's try this sweet and spicy beef jerky. Yes, ma'am. Let me try that one real quick. All right, we're gonna try this uh, sweet and spicy beef jerky. My wife said it was good, so. Yeah, as you chew on it, the flavor kick in. Oh yeah. I like it. And just in case, if you guys want to get some cowboy boots, we got some right here. Only gonna cost you two hundred and twenty dollars for a pair of boots. All right, it was so good. I have to grab another pack. But this time, the share pack, which is twenty-one ninety-nine. Want it? Gunfire. So in here, it's uh, quite nice and cool. Yeah, you can just walk around. Look at shops and then uh, eat some beef jerky. Here we have the candy barrel and the kids stop us so that they can go inside. Mom, Daddy, Daddy. Who told you guys to come in here? Barrels and barrel candy. Isn't that crazy? So somehow we managed to find ourselves in this train. It's kind of big so it's tiny in here. It's $5 per person per ride. It's fun? So for a small fee, you can actually sit on these stairs and take a picture. Say cheese! We are 1,218 miles away from Mexico. So here we have the Stockyard Museum. This historic office building is still in use. Please respect each tenant's privacy. A very old building. And uh, uh, pretty nice. And there's more stuff over here. That's the rodeo shop. So this building right here, right behind us, is the uh, is where they host the uh, weekend rodeo, where they have the bull rides and stuff. And right here, we have the Texas Rodeo Cowboy Hall of Fame. So for lunch, we decided we're gonna go here and have steak like the cowboy back in the day. Mm, why does it smell like that? No, 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 go, 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 go. Thank you so much. No problem. Wow. Mm -hmm. And outside looks small, but it's actually pretty big. You have some uh, more spaces over there. It's like going back in time. Here we have the lunch menu. Price is very reasonable. And here's the on the other side. Hey guys, how are we doing today? Good, and you? Good. 
and my name is Fantasia. I'm going to be y'all's server today. What can I get everybody started with to drink? Um, can I please get a Coke? A Coke, absolutely. Can I get lemonade? Lemonade? Okay, I'll get, can they get lemonade? Two lemonades for them as well? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. And then I do just want to let you guys know before y'all take a look at the menu, our menu is a little uh, a little out of sorts today. Um, but we are a little uh, behind on shipments right now, so there's some things that we are out of. We're out of our hamburgers and our 10-ounce flat iron on our lunch menu. Mm -hmm. um, we're also out of green beans as one of our sides. Um, so in, on the dinner menu, we'll just kind of have to you know play it by ear, whatever you guys want to look at. I can tell you whether or not we have. Okay. Because we're, we're kind of out of a lot right now. Okay. You guys have any questions about our menu? I was going to ask you, uh, this one right here, the soup, is it any dairy products in there? or? Um, no, so it is a sauerkraut and uh, tomato based paste soup. Tomato paste paste? Okay, alright. Can I get one of those? The kapusta, do you want a cup or a bowl? Yeah, just a cup. I just want to try it and see. And also, can I get the uh, 10 ounce uh, rip eye steak? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Can I get medium, please? And then it's going to come with one house side. One house? One house side is going to be on the back of that video. Okay, one house, house side. Can I get the uh, garlic mashed potato? Alright, for the kiddos. And for the kiddos, honey. For the kids, uh, is, can you do two of the cow town chicken strips with uh, the chicken strips? Yeah, with french fries. You want french fries, right? Okay. For both of them, so the chicken strips, you're both french fries for both? Okay. Oh, can I also get the 10 ounce rib eye steak? The 10 ounce rib eye? Uh -huh. How do you want it cooked? Uh, the medium. Yeah, I saw that you guys have the escargot. Yes, sir. Can I add one order of that, please? Absolutely. Alright. Alright. Got Alright, thank you. And here we have my Caesar salad. Texas side. Look at this one. Since when do you eat green? Hmm? Let's try this uh, Caesar salad. It's good, Kong? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, I like it. Aren't you we went? Mommy didn't want to go. So I guess. <laughs> Now look at her, <laughs> enjoying every single day. Um, yes ma'am, <laughs> last day, we're going back to Houston. Houston? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> We've been there all our life, so we like it there. Oh look, all right. Thank you sir. Thank you. So here we have the escargot. I already know it's very dangerous. <laughs> It is so cheesy. Uh, okay, I guess that's on you then. <laughs> Look, steak's here. Sorry, buddy. Right, thanks, sir. There as well. All right, thanks, sir. There we go. And the garlic mashed potatoes loaded here with everything on it. That's what I Thank like. Thank you. <laughs> and All right. Garlic mashed potatoes. Thanks, sir. Everything looking good so far? It's good, thank you. Everything, sir? Oh, it's a suit. All right, thank you. Everything look good? Everything looks good, thank awesome. you. We didn't need ketchup for the fries or anything? Oh, no, no. Oh. this is ketchup or? Uh, it's a uh, barbecue sauce. Oh, it costs, uh, can we get some ketchup, ketchup for the kids? Yes. All right, thank you, ma'am. All right, All right. anything else for you guys? No, be good, thank you. Y'all enjoy, okay? All right, thank you. Alright, first we're gonna try this soup. It's a Polish soup. It has sauerkraut in there, so I already know it's gonna be sour. But let's give it a try. Mm. It's like a um, sour tomato soup. Pretty good. Not too sour. It's not too sour. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna try this escargot. Ooh. That's mushroom in there. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh. It's gonna go with really good. Alright, I asked for medium because you know sometimes some places they do medium rare, too rare, so uh, let's see. 
All right. So this is more like a, on a well done side. It's a little pinkish. All right. It's okay. All right. Ribeye medium. Actually, um, not bad. It's well flavored. You can get another one. Another one of this. Mm. Let's try some of this um, garlic mashed potatoes. Mm. Garlic mashed potatoes is pretty good. It's not the best cut, but we've been walking around. You know, we're hungry. You're in a tourist area, and it's lunchtime. And it's only $17.99, so. Yeah. I'll take it. It doesn't look good on video, but to be honest, it's good. I enjoy it. <laughs> and my wife said I'm hungry, so. You like your food, Kong? You look more juicy than mine. And this is it. Last piece. The steak was very good, but I think the lip on the grill is just a little bit too long. So I think had we got the uh, medium rare, it would have been good. Well, you don't know though. You know, some places that you do medium rare, they get you raw. So, All right. But we enjoy it. All right. Escargo with Tabasco. Mm. Oh, a little cheese in there. And this was the damage. All right, so here's a bill with tax and 25% tip. Come out to be 108.11. That was a fun day. So overall, this is how much we spent right here. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for staying to the end. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on your way out. And I'll see you soon.